Blessed Bible Sunday to one and all in Christ. Like any other year, the Bible Society of India is celebrating the Bible Sunday this season of the year. The theme for our Bible Sunday this year is we need each other more than ever. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, yes, we need each other more than any other time in our partnership to make the Bible available and affordable for those people who are in need of God's word, God's peace, and God's comfort. As the promises of God remain faithful, on behalf of the Bible Society of India, we invite you all to be the agent of God's transforming power while partnering with the Bible Society of India. Remember the widow's might. Let us thank God for accepting us to take part in God's generosity of giving for the Bible cause. God bless. ദൈവ വചനത്തിന്റെ ശുശ്രൂഷയിൽ നമുക്ക് ഒരുമിച്ച് പങ്കുചേരാം ദൈവത്തോടൊപ്പം ഈ കോവിഡ് കാലത്തെ നമുക്ക് അതിജീവിക്കാം ഇന്ത്യ വേദാഗമ സംഘം തമിഴ്നാട് തുണ ചങ്കത്തിന് സാർപ്പാക എന്റെ വാഴ്ത്തുക്കളെയും നന്ദികളെയും തെരുവിത്തു കൊടുക്കുകയും നമ്മുടെ ആദരവുക്കാവും ഈടുപാടുക്കാവും നന്ദി ചെലുത്തുകയും Bible Parcharyaku, Bible Sunday Stradam Dwara, Miyoka Sangam Nanshi Bible Parcharyaku Mere Saak Karin Chochu, Devud Mimmalli Meku Tu Maalun Devin Chuna Gaka. Talakku, Tatai Hengung Elon, Im Tewai, Vil Nagam Tahat Lipare, Im Kanoen Elon, Indre Aymul. Dear Friends, It's indeed a great privilege for me as General Secretary of the Bible Society of India to greet you as we celebrate together this Sunday's Bible Sunday. The Bible Society and the Church have been two great movements which God has initiated to convey to the world God's plan of salvation to the whole creation. There have been a number of approaches to the Bible or to scripture over the years. The Bible is inerrant according to some people. And those who hold this view believe that Bible contains no errors or contradictions because Bible is the word of God and hence directly comes from God. The second approach to scripture is the Bible is inspired. We find it very difficult to believe that God dictated the words in the Bible and the humans wrote down what was dictated. Instead, they believe that God has spoken to them through varied life experiences which were written down by the humans through the prompting of the Holy Spirit. The third view of approach to scripture is that the Bible is authoritative. Many find comfort in speaking about the authority of the Bible. They do not want to believe that Bible is simply one great book among several other books. Rather, they believe that the Bible is unique in its claim on their lives. Martin Luther believed that the Bible was authoritative, but he did not believe it was without flaws. He wanted the books of Esther James and Reve- Revelation removed from the Bible. For the for Luther Christ and not the Bible was the word of God. 
John Calvin did not believe that authority existed in the words of the Bible, but rather in God's Spirit at work in the Scriptures and the believers. A fourth view of one's approach to Scripture can be the Bible is authorizing. Walter Brueggemann, a renowned Bible teacher and scholar, prefers to describe Bible as the authorizing Word of God. By this he means Bible is dynamic, and therefore all peoples of all generations, irrespective of space and time, are called, empowered and emancipated. It means that through the words that were written long ago, God continues to speak to us afresh even today. It means that God is still at work in God's creation, bringing order, peace and harmony. And a fifth approach to scripture is the Bible is a theological statement. The Bible points to God who is the creator and the redeemer, who is God incarnate, who has chosen to pitch his tent among God's own people. Our understanding of God has been always elitistic. God is a monarch, God is a warrior, God is cruel, God of the Bible is more than that. God is one who is God Emmanuel, the one who is with us. God is one who comes to us, giving us opportunities for the transformation of our lives. God is one who forgives and restores us and welcomes us. It is an adequate understanding of the God of the Bible which will change the per perception of the human, of the fellow human, and of the human, of the non-human part of God's creation. The Bible talks about God and God's purposes for God's creation and invites us to partner with God in making the world a better place to live in. One interesting anecdote comes from South Africa. When the white man came to our country, he had the Bible and we had the land. The white man said to us, let us pray. After the prayer, the white man had the land and we had the Bible. This anecdote which Bishop Desmond Tutu often quotes in his speeches points to the central position that the Bible occupies in the process of oppression and exploitation. It also reflects the paradox of the oppressor and, and express sharing the same Bible and the same faith. However, what is remarkable about this anecdote is that Bishop Desmond Tutu responded to it after one of its telling by saying, we got the better deal. This response captures something of the reality of the Bible everywhere. It plays an important role in the lives of many, particularly the weak, the poor and the marginalized. The Bible is a symbol of the presence of God of life with them and a resource in their struggle for survival. It is this dimension that we should keep in mind when we read and interpret Bible. A liberative hermeneutics wherein the whole creation of God, including nature and the earth, occupy a central place should be the goal of Bible translation and Bible engagement. This can be achieved only when both the Bible Society and the Church work together in partnership and not in isolation. It is my prayer that God would bring both these movements closer to each other so that we can together engage in God's mission of transformation. God bless you all. Amen. ದೇವರ ವಾಕ್ಯದ ಸೇವೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನೆ ಸಹಾಯ ಹಾಗೂ ಸಹಕಾರ ನಮಗೆ ಎಂದೆಂದಿಗಿಂತಲೂ ಈಗ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಅಗತ್ಯವಿದೆ ಹೋವೆಲ್ ಮಮೋ ಬಿರ್ಚು ಪಥಿಯನ್ ಥೂನಿಯ ಶ್ರೀಲಂಕಾರ ಅಪೋ ಪಥಿಯನ್ ಥೂಥೇ ದರ್ನ ಹಿ ಚೋಲ್ ಸನ್ ಅರೆಂ ವೇ ಲೋವನಿ ಬೈಬಲ್ ಸಂದೇ ಜಿ ಬೈ ಉಲೆ ಬೈಬಲ್ ಹೇ ಸ್ವನ ಪವಿತ್ರ ವಚನೋಷೆ 
અને આ પવિત્ર શાસ્ત્ર ભાઈ ભાઈ સમગ્ર ગુજરાતના વાળા ભાઈ બહેનોને આપણે પહોંચાડવા માગીએ છીએ એમાં તમારા શાસ્ત્ર સરકારની અપેક્ષા અમે રાખીએ છીએ हमारे प्रभु यीशु मसीह के मधुर नाम में आप सभी प्रभु के सेवकों और भाई बहनों को शुभकामनाएं इस वर्ष अलाहाबाद ऑक्सरी एक सौ पचहत्तर वर्ष पूरे कर रही है आइए हम सब मिलकर मसीहु के जीवित संदेश को लोगों तक पहुँचाए ইদন কাম ইবই ওই খাম কৃপং বনে কবাই চুলং তান পন সফ্রিয়ং খতেনু প্লে লিং বাগে চিয়া রাপ জংফি অন্ধ্র প্রদেশ রাষ্ট্র ক্রাইস্তব বিশ্বাসলার গতম লগান্টি পুরু পরিশুদ্ধ গ্রন্থ পরিচর্যল ওকরি ওক সহকারো মারকরকি একুগা উন্নদানি আবশ্যকতা উন্নদানি নেনমি কেলি পরিস্তুনা বাইবেল সোসাইটি কে সবি সহযোগিও কো জয় মাসি কি প্রিয় পরমেশ্বর কে সাথ वचन কে প্রতি সহভাগিতা কে লিয়ে हमें पहले से अधिक आपकी आवश्यकता है नमस्कार हमें आप लोग जाने चाहे आगे देखे हमारे एक ओपर के और बेसि प्रयोजन धन्यवाद देवा बरबर सहभागित पवित्र शास्त्रा सेवे मधे अपला सर्वान सहभाग अत्यंत गरजे का महत्वपूर्ण है मोर चैलेंजेस आर अड एज दर वर्ल्ड response to covid-19 pandemic but we the bible society of india are committed to the mission to make bible available affordable and accessible the bible society of india continues to serve the church and society with a vision to make god's word available to all many are called but few are chosen to travel this journey you can do your part on this journey of transformation will you stand with us in this mission by praying for us participation and through your contributions we want to thank you for traveling with us thus far we need each other more than ever god bless